going to discuss how you can program your WS Lycom Pro 3 headset to work with your existing two-way radios. First, um, what Lycom headsets are you able to program? So we've compiled a list here of all the Lycom Pro 3 headsets that you're able to program, and it's essentially all the WS Lycom Pro 3 headsets. So any of these headsets you can program to work with your existing uh, two-way radios. Next, what are you going to need to be able to program the headset? Well, first, you're going to have to download the 3M Peltor Service Tools software. Once you download the software, and keep in mind, you, you may need to provide 3M with proof of purchase in the form of a receipt, or if you purchase the headset from us, we can, um, we can expedite that process. Um, after you download the software, they will actually email you a uh, license key. Um, in addition to the software and the license key, you're going to need the Lycom Service Tool Programming Cable, or part number FLA07. And that cable generally runs between $165 and $175 to, uh, to purchase. What are the requirements? So the requirements are these headsets can only be programmed to work with UHF radios since they're on UHF frequencies. Um, they do have Bluetooth, so you can use the headsets with radios that have Bluetooth uh, as an option. Um, as far as the software is concerned, you're going to need at least Windows 7 or uh, Windows 10 to be able to download the software. And we've provided more information here um, on how to download the service tool. There are step-by-step -step instructions included in the link here. We're not going to go into detail on those instructions, um, but if you click the link, it will take you to the download process. Um, and this is just more information on how to download the service tool. Now, if you purchase the headset from us, we can, we can provide you with uh, the software with proof of purchase. Uh, and typically, as I stated before, 3M will get back to you in 48 to 72 hours um, with the license key to be able to use the service tool. Um, so how do we program the headset to work with the radios? Well, first, you're going to need to plug the programming cable into your computer. There's a USB on one end, and then there's a um, like a three or four prong connector that goes into the ear cup of the headset. Now, keep in mind, you're going to need to insert the battery into the headset. Generally, the battery comes a third of the way already powered, um, and you're going to need to get the headset into programming mode. Now, to get the headset into programming mode, you essentially have to hold the on button with the up volume button simultaneously, and then the headset will actually um, say, say service mode. Um, and once you're in service mode, you can start programming. So let's go into the software now, and I, I can show you an example of, of how to program the, um, your two-way radio frequencies into the headset. So for the purpose of this video, we're just going to use a file that we've already created. You simply go under configuration, and we're going to use this file here. I believe I have it saved as example. Uh, and once I have this open, I can, um, let's see here, go to two-way radio, and then I'm going to go to channels. So essentially what you need to do is type in your transmit frequency, as you can see here, your receive frequency. In this case, we're using 422.3 uh, as our transmit frequency and 422.3 as our receive frequency. Um, it's in analog. You can do it in digital as well if you have the right tones. And in addition to the frequencies, you're going to need a receive subchannel and an analog subchannel. Now, in this case, our customer requested 51 um, as far as the private tone. And as you can see here, 51 um, works out to be, you just use this key here, 51 is 8. So we plugged in 8. Um, so that's basically really everything that you need to input uh, unless you're using digital radio. Once you do that, you just write configuration to the device and then make sure that the headset is plugged into the laptop or the computer 
and it will go ahead and actually program the headset at that point. Now, if this is something that you do not feel like doing, we would be more than happy to assist you in programming the headset. And I can show you how that's done here as well. Uh, here's a Lightcom headset here on our website. You can just simply say, yes, I want you to program the headset, one to 10 channels, add it to the cart. Uh, once you view the cart, there should be a notation function that you can use. Let's see, let me remove this one. Oh, I believe it's under actual order instructions. Excuse me. Um, and under order instructions, you should be able to say, please program uh, channel one at 422.3MAZ and channel two at 423.3, et cetera, et cetera. Right? And then we will actually do all the programming for you. You just save it to your card and then it's all taken care of. You don't have to worry about it at that point. We hope this video was helpful and we, we truly look forward to having the opportunity to work with you. If you need to reach us, you can reach us here at the uh, numbers and the email provided, the sales email provided, and we'll get back to you um, typically within a few hours.